Hi guys, this is JP. On this video, I will show you how to fly quick approaches using FSI Panel 2020 and just fly PIA 146. The procedure is very easy. I will show you how to fly quick approach just now. Okay, I just loaded the aircraft in Zurich on runway 14 and I will click on ready to fly. And before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. That will help me making more and more video for you. All right, so we just loaded the aircraft in Zurich. I don't touch anything in the cockpit. As you can see, the aircraft has just loaded. And as a reminder for that uh, particular aircraft, you will need a WASM module. So this module will be installed the first time FSI panel detects the uh, 146. And uh, then you will need to restart both the simulator and FSI panel. And then the procedure, we will sit just now together. All right, we're in the cockpit and uh, I don't touch anything. Make sure your engines are running. Normally, if you start with the aircraft on a runway, you will have the uh, cockpit ready for departure. So I will just start FSI panel and we will see how to fly a quick approach. All right, the FSI panel is starting and normally you will get Zurich on top with the runway that you want to fly and as you can see on the bottom just flight 146 300 series has been detected perfect so today we will do an ILS 14 in Zurich so I will put myself on a long final so we should be at 8 nautical miles at 3700 feet so let's see what happens when we click move aircraft and I will show you the procedure so move aircraft we are in the cockpit the first thing that you will see is the landing flap so you will see your flap moving to flaps 33 and in the same time in the same time sorry FSI panel is setting the altitude and the heading bug to the runway heading. When this is done you will get the next instru instruction sorry which is to set your thrust lever above 70% and 1. So the only thing you have to do here is just increase your thrust and then FSI panel will take over the control and there you can see that the autopilot is set with a vertical speed heading altitude is armed and the only thing you have to do is make sure that you maintain your speed where it should be for this aircraft so now we have flaps 30 so my speed is around 150 knots i don't want to go any faster i don't want to go slow as well so just keep the speed as it is and fsi panel will finish the setup for you and once done, you will get the message to take over the control. So let's see that happening. We are approaching 3,700 feet. The speed is good, so make sure you keep your speed where it's supposed to be, otherwise you might stall the aircraft. And now you see all your brake for three seconds to take control. So basically, we are ready to fly. So this is my approach speed. FSI panel has as well set the box for you. You can see that the ILS is set for the runway. We are perfectly established. The uh, mode control panel are set and as well all the lights have been set properly. So now you're ready to take over the control and fly the approach. So to take over the control, hold your brake for three seconds. That's what I'm doing now. Now I have the control and I can arm, for example, in that case, Vorlock and Glide Slope. And as you can see, we have captured the localizer and glide slope is coming and you can fly your approach and you will get a landing report. So this is how to fly easy approach on the uh, just flight 146. Should you want to fly, let's say on a vector position, let's do it right now. I will choose left and vector and I will click move aircraft. Now you see the gears going up. All kind of things is happening because FSI panel is bringing the flaps to flaps 18 for vectors position. So just in that same time, make sure you don't stall. So just add a little bit of thrust. And then once the flaps are set to 18, FSI panel will do the rest for you. You can see now we are going on a 30 degrees intercept heading for runway 14 in Zurich. And uh, we have the autopilot set for us. The only thing you have to do now is keep the speed for flaps 1.8 so we don't go over speed. You are responsible of the thrust on that aircraft as there is no auto throttle. So make sure just keep the speed where it's supposed to be and FSI panel will do the positioning for you. Once you reach 3700 or 
very close to 3,700 and your rate of descent is decreasing, FSI panel will give you the control. You will see that on top of your screen, wherever you want to put your instruction window. All right, so we are 3,700 feet. Everything looks good for me. And we get the message, all your brake for three seconds. I will do that right now. And that's it. I'm flying the aircraft. Now I can arm my Vorlock, for example, and the aircraft will intercept the ILS-14 in Zurich. All right, guys, this is how easy it is to fly an approach with just fly 146 and FSI panel 2020. If you have any question or comment, please drop it below and I will be very happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon for another video. Thank you. Bye bye.